Now for the next weapon, the shotgun. Benelli M3S, an easy to carry sawed off shotgun. It uses 12 gauge shot shells. Alright, let's test it out. This will be the first weapon I test on two enemies. I'll do a zombie, and then I'll try it on a hunter. Now, once again, with a shotgun, it is really effective on zombies if you do it on close range and aim upward. So first, I'll do it normally. Alright, one shot from, like, mid-range. Now I'll do a close range and aim upward. Yep, it decapitates them. Now, if... You're stupid enough to really aim at a zombie from extremely far distance. It could take up to five shots from what I've learned. But I don't know who's stupid enough around here to aim a shotgun at very far range. Now, let me test this bad boy on a hunter. Alright, that took two shots. One mid-range and one close range. I think if you're close range, it should take one shot. Maybe two. Far range, if you're stupid enough. It could probably take up to eight. Now let's see what the shotgun looks like upgraded. Now, just like the normal handgun, the shotgun could be upgraded with enhanced bullets. And the same way. There are two types of gunpowders. Gunpowder A and gunpowder B. To get the enhanced shotgun, you combine gunpowder B with the reloading tool a set amount of times. So, this is the result. Shotgun shells enhanced. So, here's the shotgun enhanced. Enhanced shotgun. It's loaded with enhanced shells. Wow. Very descriptive. Um, they now call it the Manelli M3S enhanced. Alright, now let's test it out. Now it has, like, a big, huge blowback. Alright. Now let's test this on the two enemies I've already tested it on. <laughs> now, once again, if you're a close range on a zombie, it's most effective. But since it's a little more powerful, I'd say even mid-range, it'll only take one shell. From far range, if you really need to do that, uh, I think it will take no more than three shots from far range. Alright, now let's test it on a hunter. Oh, he almost got up. Once again, that took two shots, but that time it was uh, one mid-range and one slightly mid-range between mid and close. So, a little more power. When it comes to zombies, much more power. So, that's it for the shotgun. Now, for the next weapon, which is the special shotgun. Alright, so here's the Western Custom. Another weapon that you can only unlock in hard mode. It's unlockable the same exact way as the Eagle 6.0. You just have to defeat Nemesis instead of two times. You gotta beat him five times. Yeah, on the fourth and fifth time, you'll get two parts for this gun. So here's the Western Custom. Western Custom M37. Equipped with a special reload system and is effective for close range battle. It uses 12 gauge shot shells. So very similar to the normal shotgun. Just shorter and it has a, an effective reload system. So let's test it out. Now, just to show you how much more of a shotgun this is, or how much faster this shotgun is, I'll shoot it at full speed. 
So it's much faster than the standard pump action shotgun. So it's much more effective. Now let's test this on an enemy. A uh, one note. Once again, this shotgun is not compatible with the enhanced shells. It acts just like the normal shotgun. Close range, you're most likely going to get a one shot kill. Mid range, maybe two. And aim upward, you'll get a decapitation. Uh, Alright, after the previous two shotguns, I don't really need to tell you what happens if you try long range. Alright, uh, I am also going to test this weapon on a hunter. Even though I don't know if it's as strong as a shotgun. But I'll test it anyway. <laughs> two shots. Two mid-range shots. So, in the end, I guess it is just as good as the regular shotgun. Just more effective. Alright, that's it for the shotguns. Now for the next weapon. Now for the next weapon, the Magnum. Smith & Wesson M629C. A large stainless steel revolver. A classic type equipped with weights to reduce the recoil. It uses .44 Magnum bullets. Wow, that's a long description. Alright, let's test the Magnum out. Now, once again, any Resident Evil veteran would know that a Magnum will immediately kill a zombie with a critical headshot, with the exception of Outbreak. Now, I'm just going to show that off as a funny aspect. Now, if you're a serious player, I highly advise you do not do this because it is a complete waste of ammo. <laughs> See, right off the bat. <laughs> now, I'm going to test it on a Hunter. One shot! Now, the only enemy I know, besides Nemesis, who p could probably take more than one Magnum shot, is probably the giant caterpillar. Gravedigger, that's what, it, that's what it's called. And probably other enemies, like, but I don't really want to take the time to name them all right now. So, let me move on to the next weapon, which will be the longest one to review. Now for the next weapon, the Grenade Launcher. Now, here's another weapon in the Resident Evil series that uses more than one type of round. They've added another round since Resident Evil 1 and 2. The new one is the freeze rounds. And the other three we have seen before in 2 and 1. Now, I will test the weapon out with each round individually, and then I will test it on a hunter, and I am skipping the zombie once again because I know they will go down in one shot with these powerful babies. Alright, so first to review the explosive rounds. HKP Grenade Launcher, a small sized grenade launcher developed for police use. It is loaded with burst rounds. Now, just when I use it, when I switch the rounds, just imagine that description, and, but instead of burst, you hear flame, freeze, and acid. Alright, so I don't have to do it again. Alright, let's test all three rounds out, starting with the burst rounds. Alright, now for flame rounds. Now for acid rounds. And now for the new freeze rounds. Those 
look pretty those all look pretty cool all right now I'm gonna test them on a hunter to compare shots so here's burst rounds all right one shot with the burst rounds now for flame rounds all right one shot with flame rounds now for acid rounds all right one shot for acid rounds now for the new freeze rounds one shot for freeze rounds so maybe that wasn't the best enemy to test it on except the only stronger enemy i know of is the hunter gammas but the game isn't set to get those so i can't really do that but I'll just give you my estimates on what each round is good for. Anyway, um, I would use burst rounds on crowds of zombies, brain suckers, hunters. I would use flame rounds on spiders and probably hunter gammas and betas. I would use acid rounds on maybe a couple of the bosses. And I would do it on dogs and crowds of zombies. And I would use freeze rounds for, let me put it this way. There's nothing I don't know why I wouldn't use freeze rounds on. Freeze round is freeze rounds are good for everything. I recommend them against bosses for their potential use. But anyway, that is it for the grenade launcher. Now for the next weapon.